teach CBSE 10 Maths. Hey guys, this is Tina. I teach CBSE 8 Maths. Check out our videos on the playlist. Alright, now let's get into the video. Today we are going to be learning Chapter 5 Arithmetic Progressions, Exercise 5.2. Fourth question. All right. Now let's read the question. Which term of the AP three comma eight comma thirteen comma eighteen is seventy eight? So here, no. Which term of the AP? AP means arithmetic progression is seventy eight. So here, no. I would like to share a clue. I mean trick. So don't just read from here. Okay. So here, the actual question is which term is seventy eight? Okay, we are supposed to find the term in which term we'll get 78. To find that, let us write the values. So the AP is, e is equal to so 3 comma 8, uh, 8, 8 comma 13 comma 18. Isn't it? This is the AP. Okay, so I just wrote the AP as it is. So now know what is the A here? So since you guys know, this is the first term. This is the second term, this is the third term and this is the fourth term. So, here the A is equal to 3, isn't it? So, A is equal to 3 and D. How to find D? A2 minus A1. So, here what is A2? I just told you guys A2 is 8. Okay, minus A1. A1 is 3. Okay, so when we just subtract them, no? We get 5. So, D is equal to 5. Okay. So, now we know the A value and the D value. Okay, guys. So, now let us apply the formula. So, we don't know the N value. Isn't it? So, in the question, they men didn't mention the N value. So, here what is 78? So, the 78 is AN's value. Okay. So, 78 is AN's value. You guys might be wondering how can I say 78 is AN's value? So, this is what is arithmetic progression, isn't it? So, whenever we have like this, so here now, this is the AP. So, whenever you have a point like this and then is 78. If they are something like this, no, we are supposed to take that 78 as AN, okay? So, and we will solve a lot of problems that time only you will get to know, okay? So, let us solve them. So, first of all, let me just write the values, okay? So, A is equal to 3. And then a n is 78 and d is equal to 5. Okay. So, now let us apply the formula. Okay. 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 So, let us apply the formula. So, the formula is a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d. Okay. So, bracket means multiplication. So, now let us substitute the values. So, what is a n value? So, a n is 78. So, let us write 78 is equal to what is A? A is 3 plus let us we don't know the N right. So, N is in question mark. So, let us write them as it is N minus 1 and then bracket uh, D. What is D? 5. Okay. So, now what we can do now? Let us write the 78 as it, is, as it is and when we get this 3 to this side it changes into minus sorry yeah minus 3. Isn't it? Why? Well, because here it is plus 3. So, when it comes to this side, no, it changes into minus 3. Okay. Is equal to, now let us write this, n minus 1, close the bracket, 5 as it is. So, when we just subtract them, we get 75 is equal to n minus 1. So, here we have 5, right? So, here it is in multiplication well, because we have bracket. So, since it is in multiplication, if I get this 5, to this side, it changes into division. Okay. So, I am just uh, getting this 5 to this side. So, it changes into division. Okay. So, now let us cancel them. So, 1 5 is 5 and 1 5 is 5 to balance 5 5 is a 25. Okay. So, now what we can do now? We can write 15 as it is is equal to n minus 1. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna get uh, get this one minus one to this side. So when I get this minus one to this side, it changes into plus one is equal to n. Okay, what is fifteen plus one? So fifteen plus one is sixteen. 
ok. So, since it is now 15 plus 1 is 16, then the n value is 16, ok. So, now we got the n value by using this formula, is not it? So, now uh, what does this mean? What is the use of getting an n value? Why? Because according to the question, uh, one second. So, according to the question, uh, they told that which term is 78, which term of the AP is 78. So, here since we got n is equal to 16, then we can say that the 16th term of AP is 78, ok. So, instead of writing in sentence now, what we can do is, we can write A16 is equal to 78, ok. So, we can actually write it like this, ok. So, what does it mean A16 is equal to 78? This means that 16th term of AP is 78, ok. I hope you guys understood this. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any doubt, comment me in the comment section. Catch you in the next video. Bye.